So when we look at B cluster, B cluster Pro, and B cluster Pl Cloud, uh, so is it like you know evolution? Is it like where you're running? So j j I just want to understand the differences, similarities, and how they complement each other. Yeah, absolutely. So we see the core features, right? Uh, the core is really what's open source, right? That's what you find on GitHub. That's all the core functionality to spin up a virtual cluster. And then we have these pro features. So, you know, for example, backing stores that are more resilient, uh, the more high performance uh, networking, um, you know, and a lot of features uh, around like peace of mind and stability. Um, that's what we call pro features. That essentially makes your V cluster better. And then we have the platform features. The platform features are things that you need when you have a fleet of virtual clusters and you want to orchestrate that fleet, right? And you want to optimize things across a lot of virtual clusters. You know, if you have three virtual clusters running, it's not important to turn them off automatically. But when you have like 100 or 200 or 1,000 virtual clusters running, you kind of want to automatically turn the ones off that are not currently used. And that's what our platform does with the sleep mode, for example. So it's a pretty natural evolution that you find vCluster core, you start exploring these core features, you're excited, you come across a pro feature in the doc, uh, in the documentation, you want to upgrade, um, and then a couple months later, you may have 50 virtual clusters running, and then you're thinking about these optimizations and more of the fleet management aspect. And that's where really the platform comes in, and ultimately vCluster Cloud. Um, is the hosted version, right? The SaaS variant of, uh, you know, vCluster platform. And is vCluster pl uh, cloud uh, are targeting a specific cloud out there? Public cloud, we can talk about. We can talk about private cloud. We can also talk about data center or all of above. Yeah, so um, you connect your own vClusters wherever they run, right? So you can even run them in Docker desktop on your local machine, right? Um, no cloud account required for it. Um, but obviously, you can also run that in, you know, on an OpenShift cluster on EKS or something like that, right? Uh, we're pretty flexible. As long as you spin up a V cluster, you can connect it to the to the cloud.